Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, hopefully you follow along with the first part of the detail roof tutorial just fine. And this one I'm going to show you a couple of new ways, uh, correct a mistake I made in the first one and uh, just show you a couple of new techniques, different ways of doing things. So if you follow along with the first tutorial you should know what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, finding the center of my uh, building, creating a brush uh, that covers exactly half the span of my roof. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of overhang here. I'm going to do the same uh, on the other side. I'm going to come around and do it along here too. Uh, I'm just going to switch back down into my uh, front view here. Use um, spacebar to copy. I'm just going to move that one over. I'm just going to use the edge tool to uh, drag up these uh, brushes here to uh, start creating uh, the angle parts of the roof. In the first tutorial I told you to pull down um, on this brush uh, to create the overhang and um, I was rightly corrected uh, on the forums by uh, Techno2SL that uh, pulling a brush, an angled brush around um, can sometimes cause it to have major major problems so I'm just going to show you a, a quick way just to do it using just extra brushes there. I just drew them in and used the edge tool to uh, to um, make them at the same angle as the roof. If we wanted to, of course, we could just angle them slightly differently to create a bit of extra detail on the uh, building. Um, so with that done, we need to fill in a uh, triangular brush again. So I'm just going to draw out this brush, make it uh, even and uh, lined up with the outside of our walls, line it up with the inside of our two brush uh, parts there for our roof. Use the clip tool to uh, clip this away. Uh, check the first tutorial for a brief description of the uh, clip tool and how to use it. So once we're happy with that brush again, we're just going to um, resize this brush, copy it using the space bar, and then I'm just going to use it, uh, move it over here and line it up with our outside walls. So using Control Shift left click, I'm just selecting the face of these brushes and just doing a, a quick texture job. Uh, as you can see, control shift, left click, select the face. That didn't go right. Press S to bring up the surface inspector and uh, just rotate that texture around. Do the same on the underside of these brushes and uh, just go around, texture your, uh, your roof here. Uh, when it comes to those angled parts, um, which I'm just about to do now, they, they do tend to be a little bit tricky. So just take your time, use the surface inspector, rotate it round. I'm just doing this quickly. Yeah. So that's a perfectly nice roof. Um, I'm quite happy with that already. But we're going to use some alpha blending now just to add some, um, some extra detail to this roof. And we need to create a terrain patch. Uh, the best way to do that Control shift left click to select the faces of the tops of these brushes. Um, I'm just going to make sure I get all of them. Control shift left click. And I'm just going to go up to patch and I'm going to go to faces to terrain. And that's just taken those faces and created a terrain patch in the shape of the original brushes. It hasn't affected the brushes at all. So with them selected, I'm just going to raise them up slightly. As you can see, they're in a couple of different sections. So to make our life easier, I'm just going to select all of them and press W. Uh, that should turn that into one terrain patch now. Uh, we need to add some more vertices to this. We haven't got a lot to work with. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to highlight the patch and I'll press V on my keyboard to bring up the verts. Uh, and when I do this, I'm going to left click drag over two of the verts. Um, and then I'm going to use some hotkeys. Um, so once I've got these two selected, I'm going to press Control Shift A. And that is going to add a new vertex column and some more vertices to play with. So just um, select two vertices, Control Shift A, um, that'll add some vertice lines. Do the same for uh, vert columns going the other way. So that'll do us now. We've got plenty to work with here. We don't need to add more than we need. So once we've got our uh, patch ready to go, I'm just going to select a blend texture here. Um, I'm just going to cap it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press Y on my keyboard. I'm going to bring up the advanced uh, terrain editing tools. I'm going to select flatten an alpha. And I'm just going to make my radius uh, slightly bigger. I'm going to come over to the patch and I'm going to use Alt left click to start um, alpha blending this texture away. Um, 
Oh, I've still got my vert selected. No, it's not going to work. If I have my vert selected in the terrain patch uh, editor on, it's not going to work. So press V to escape your um, verts there. So I'm just using uh, Alt left click to uh, detract some of this blend texture. And you're just going to go around and take away quite a lot of it. Um, like I said in the first tutorial, uh, you just want to take some away and then re add it very lightly over the roof just so you can see the tile, but you can also see the dirt or whatever it is you're uh, blending on top of this. Just go around your patch and uh, Alt left click to detract, uh, Alt right click to re add. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on doing this a little bit here. And of course, uh, when you're doing yours, you can take your time, uh, really make it uh, the way you want it to uh, look. And um, once we've finished here, even though it's, what we've been doing is quite simple, it's still going to be quite a good looking roof. Um, or at least I think it is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're just going to carry on going around here. Let's deselect now by pressing escape. Let's have a look around. Uh, that's not too bad. Maybe I'm going to take a little bit more away in here. Um, and I'm just going to use uh, alt right click again to just re it. So that's looking pretty good now. So before we realign this uh, with our roof, I'm just going to make this a non-colliding uh, patch. Uh, it's just something I, I do out of habit. It just it's a non-essential surface, so there's there's no need for it to have any sort of collision data for it. So as you can see, it's shimmering slightly, but that really isn't a big deal um, in game. Once you compile this map, it's not going to do that in game. Um, it's going to look real good. Uh, so that could be as detailed as you might want to go on a roof but uh, we're going to go another step further yet another step further and um, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to turn all of these faces into terrain patches so just control shift left click select all the faces make sure you get all of them and uh, once I've got all these selected I'm going to do the same as we did before and I'm just going to go up to uh, patch faces to terrain and that's just created a whole load of new terrain patches for us to play with so before we can do that we need to delete the original brushes we don't need them anymore um, they're just going to get in the way so we might as well just get rid of them of course when you were doing yours you would have come around this side and created these patches and you'd have to go in to uh, look for the brush to delete it shouldn't be too hard though same as before uh, we've got our terrain patches in place now and i'm just going to select the top ones um, and create this uh, single patch again select them all and just press W and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some more verts in so just select two verts control shift A two verts control shift A add as many as you need um, but don't go too far <laughs> make sure we do the same on the under side of these patches now because um, we're going to be manipulating these two patches together so if we had uneven um, that will end up um, screwing things around so just make sure you've got enough the same verts on the bottom as you have on the top so I'm just going to um, select these top patches here make sure they're all one patch just select them and press W and do the same underneath select select press W and there'll be one single terrain patch now Select the top one together, switch down into your side view using control tab and press V on your keyboard to bring up the verts and all I'm doing is just dragging out, selecting some and using alt left click to pull them down and as you can see it's just creating a slightly sunken look to this roof and that's why we would use terrain patches, they just give us a little bit more versatility and of course <laughs> we can even go um, a few, few more steps further and create some really good looking detail stuff but I'm going to run out of time quickly now so I'm just going to fast uh, make this go nice and fast I wish I could map this fast in real life but, um, but yeah uh, this is what we can do with these just using these techniques I've shown you um, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial hopefully it helped you um, that's all for now thanks for watching happy mapping enjoy